Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and third video of the day, first one was Monster Jam related, second one was NFL related, and this one is also NFL, rela NFL related, it is my week 11 predictions for this week guys, so coming into this week, not including the two ties that have happened so far, my record is 84 and 61, so 84 and 61 is pretty good, you know, that's pretty good, last week I was 8 and 6, um, 8 and 6 was not the best I've done, but... Hopefully this week I can do better. So let's jump right into this week's game with this week's game with the Thursday night game, the four and I believe five Saints. Ah, uh, come on. Just checking the records. Yes, the four and five Saints at the three and six Panthers. That's tonight. Panthers at home. I think I'm gonna have to go with the Panthers at home. Almost upset the seven and two Kansas City Chiefs. Um, they almost did it. They probably should have if Kelvin Benjamin didn't fumble. So I'm gonna pick the Panthers over the Saints. Next up, the four and five Steelers at the zero and ten Browns. I'm not gonna pick the Browns for the rest of the year, even if they beat the Steelers like a hundred to zero. The Browns are the Browns. So picking the Steelers over the Browns, that one's easy. Next up, the five and four Ravens at the eight and one Cowboys. I actually think this game is going to be a lot closer than most people think. Yes, I'm still going with the Cowboys, but I do think that game is gonna be a lot closer than most people think. So watch out for it for it to be a close game, but the Cowboys are not going to get defeated in Dallas, and they haven't lost a game in nine games, because they have eight wins in a row, so I'm going to pick the Cowboys over the Ravens. Next up, the two and seven Jaguars at the five and four Lions. Lions five and four right now, tied with the Vikings for the division lead, and then the Packers are just one game back, but I'm so I'm going to pick the Lions over the Jaguars, Lions and Vikings and Packers, all three, in a very close battle in the division. Even though the Bears are three games back, they're basically done. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pick the Lions over the Jaguars in Detroit, which is another reason, because they're playing in Detroit, so got to go to the Lions there. Um, then maybe the 5-5 five and five Titans at the 4-5 and five Colts, trying to catch up to the Texans in the division or maybe get a wild card spot. The Titans are two games behind the Broncos right now, and the Colts are three. So it's a pretty close battle. But I think I'm gonna have to pick the Colts at home. Yes, the Titans are five and five, and the Colts are four and five. But the Colts coming off the bye week, I do think that the Colts are gonna win it at home against the Titans. Next up, the four and five Buccaneers at the seven and two Chiefs. As a Bills fan, I really want the Buccaneers to win, but the Buccaneers are the same record as the Bills. They're both four and five, so I'm gonna have to pick the Chiefs at home. This week to advance to eight and two and still stay still stay tied with the Raiders as long as they can beat the Texans on Monday night, but I'm gonna pick the Chiefs over the Buccaneers in that one. Next up, we have the Cardinals at the Vikings. The ties always mess me up, so I don't know their exact record. Four four and one, as you can see right there. So the four four and one Cardinals at the five and four Vikings. Um, this is going to be a very good game. I think I'm going to have to go with the Cardinals. I think the Vikings are going to lose their fifth straight, and I have to pick the Cardinals over the Vikings in this one. Yes, Cardinals aren't coming off their best game, only beating the 49ers 23-20, but the Vikings have lost four straight going in five this week, I think, so I'm going to pick the Cardinals over the Vikings. Next up, we, ha we have the... Two and seven Bears at the six and three Giants. Obviously, the Giants at home. I'm gonna pick over the Bears. The Bears are just not a good team. They're, they're coming off a 36 to 10 loss against the Buccaneers, so I'm gonna have to pick the Giants over the Bears. And the final one o'clock game is the one at the top, the four and five Bills at the three five and one Bengals. The Bengals, their tie against the Redskins probably should have been a loss, but the Redskins really missed that field goal. So really, it's the four and five Bills and the three and six Bengals, but they're three five and one because of the tie. So they're playing in Cincinnati, but even though they're playing in Cincinnati, you gotta come, I got to go with the Bills, who almost beat the Seahawks. Seahawks are one of the best teams in the league right now, if not the best, actually, coming off a win against the Patriots, um, who hand them their second loss, and the Seahawks only have two losses as well, along with their tie. So that was a really good game for the Bills, who probably should have won if the referee, the referees refed the game well, but they didn't. So I'm going to pick the Bills over the Bengals in Cincinnati, the Bengals' defense. I really think there's going to be a lot of defense played in that game because both the offense, or I mean, both the defenses are really good. 
So, I'm still going with the Bills over the Bengals. Next up, the 5-4 and four Vikings at the 4-5 and five Rams. Again, I am a Bills fan, if you guys didn't know that. And the Bills are two games out. As long as they win this week, they'll be two games out of the wild card behind the Broncos, who are 7-3. and three. If the Bills win, they're 5-5, five and five, two games out. And if the Dolphins lose t- against the Rams in L.A., then the Dolphins will be tied to the Bills as well at 5-5. Five and five. Because the uh, not Vikings, the Dolphins are five and four. The Rams are four and five. Rams this week starting Jared Groff. I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference. The defense is really good, but the offense is not. So I'm going to pick the Dolphins in Los Angeles to beat the Rams. Next up, we have the seven and two Patriots at the two and seven Forty Niners. Um, or no, not no. They have one win. The one and eight Forty Niners. Excuse me. Um, so obviously, even though they're in San Francisco, that's not going to do anything. I have to pick the Patriots coming off the loss against the Seahawks. I do think they'll rebound and beat the 49ers in San Francisco. And now I just have to check out the Eagles record because I forgot. They're 5-4. and four. All right. Hang on. All right, the 5-4 and four Eagles against... Oops. Sorry, I almost fell there. Oh, it did fall. But, um, yeah, so the Seahawks, I actually forgot their record. I forgot what the Seahawks record is. But I know the Eagles are 5-4 and because I just looked. But, um, anyways, the Seahawks coming off their win against the Patriots. I do think that they'll win in Seattle against a team that's just above 500 at 5-4. and four. So I'm picking the Seahawks over the Eagles in Seattle. And next up. The Sunday night game, the Packers at the Redskins. This is this isn't even a tough pick for me. The Redskins in Washington, as the Packers are coming off their twenty-two point loss against the Titans. Got to pick the Redskins at home over the Packers. Then on Monday night, one of the best games this week, the seven and two Raiders. I mean, the six and three Texans at the seven and two Raiders. I think this will be a great game, but I'm gonna have to pick the Raiders at home right now. Even at 7-2, and two, they're still second in the division because the Chiefs are also 7-2, and two, but the Chiefs break the tiebreaker. And then the Broncos are 7-3, and three, and the Chargers 4-6 and six in the division. But um, I'm going to pick the Raiders on Monday night at home against the Texans. Uh, the Texans, even though they're 6-3, and three, they're coming off a very close win against the Jaguars. So I'm picking the Raiders over the Texans. And then the Falcons, Broncos, Jets, and Chargers are on bye this week. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let's go over my picks one last time. So the Bills over the Bengals, the Panthers over the Saints, the Steelers over the Browns, the Cowboys over the Ravens, the Lions over the Jaguars, the Chiefs over the Titans, I mean the Colts over the Titans, sorry about that, the Chiefs over the Buccaneers, the Cardinals over the Vikings, the Giants over the Bears, the Dolphins over the Rams, the Patriots over the 49ers, the Seahawks over the Eagles, the Redskins over the Packers, and the Raiders over the Texans. Then again, Falcons, Broncos, Jets, and Chargers are on by this week. So yeah, in the comments below, tell me your your guys' thoughts on my predictions. I think they're pretty good. So this should be a really good week of football coming up starting tonight with the Saints and Panthers game. So anyways, guys, in the comments below, tell me your thoughts on my picks. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.